<laughs> what is going on you guys so i decided to bring you guys another video a little quick video just to show you guys a couple of my air force ones that i've collected within the last couple of years um i am a big air force one fan um i started collecting air force ones when i was maybe like freshman year of high school which was around you know 15 16 years old maybe 14 years old i believe but um that's when my love for basketball and shoes you know grew or actually started um i remember i used to watch a lot of n1 mixtape you know videos as well like on espn and you know all those channels and then you know back in the day you know air force ones weren't really at your local store like they are now um so I remember I used to watch like Rashid Wallace wear the high tops playing basketball, you know, especially like at celebrity games. Um, I used to watch like I think uh, Method Man and Red Man, they would also wear Red Force Ones. And mind you, I, used to, I grew up in the era, you know, in the early 2000s where, you know, we dressed baggy, we dressed, um, you know, a lot of Air Force Ones were being used. Maybe 80% of the population in my high school wore like Air Force Ones or had a pair of Air Force Ones. Whether it was like the all white pair, all black pair, you know, pretty much everyone had a pair. You know, I used to dress baggy, I used to wear like Echo, I used to wear like uh, Rock Aware, Sean John, um, Fat Farm. Um, that was just a lot of, that was just a style back then. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you know, just look it up. But it was just that era, you know, and Nelly used to come out with that song, Air Force Ones. So, you know, that's when that song became famous and a lot of people started wearing more Air Force Ones. Um, but yeah, guys, um, it was a crazy era. Uh, I love it, to be honest, though, because there's nothing like it is now. And uh, yeah, you know, we all had our, our stages. We were baggy clothes. I remember I had a stage where I was like, you know, had my skating stage where I used to be, you know, wear more skating type of style. And then uh, I wore jerseys as well as well. You know, I had like Allen Iverson jerseys, Kobe jerseys. Um, I used to buy headbands, wristbands. Uh, but yeah, guys, so I'm just gonna give you guys a little quick rundown on my Air Force One collection. Um, it's just, it's a pretty small collection, but it's a lot of these shoes are what I've always, not always, but uh, what I've really wanted, you know? And um, I know there's tons of different Air Force Ones colorways, man. There's, you know, the swoosh is a different color than the actual upper of the whole shoe. The swole is a different color sometimes. I know Nike has a custom Nike by you going thing, uh, going on thing. I don't know if it's still on right now, but I did order a pair about maybe two, three weeks ago that still, I'm still waiting for it to arrive. So yeah, guys, so I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of my collection as, as I uh, here it is, but um, yeah, guys, like I said, it's a small collection, but it's something that I am kind of proud of and to have. Um, as you guys can see, there are some hype stuff in, in here. Um, and there's also some stuff that is not too hype, but it's, you know, it's stuff that I've, I've, I've wanted. So yeah, guys, I'm going to show you guys and kind of give you guys maybe a little bit of rundown of how I got some of these just simply because as you guys can tell, some of these are pretty hype and pretty high valued in price as well. So, um, so I'll start off with this one, guys. Um, these are my MoMA's Air Force Ones, uh, off-white MoMA's, as you guys can see. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a pair like this. If you haven't, then I can show you guys now just a quick little uh, look at them. And a uh, funny story about these is that now they are running for a price of around $3,000 to $4,000 to $5,000, depending on the size or so. At least that's what I saw about, you know, a month ago or so i don't know how much they're going for at the current value right now at the current market value but i was able to get these uh off stock x maybe about two years ago and i paid i want to say around 1.3 uh, on these and uh man I, it was one of those instances one of those occasions where i just woke up and my bid was accepted i had a bid on there for uh, I want to say a couple of months to be honest and at the time these were not really that hype guys I believe because of the price and a lot of people don't want to play that price for a shoe like you know plain pretty plain like this so a lot of people were not willing to pay you know 1.3 1.4 1.5 at the time but you know now I'm just like man I'm glad I did because 
these are going for you know double the that price what i paid so i remember i saw these on jr smith and then on some other nba players and and stuff like that and i just like i said i'm a big air force one guy i'm not a big fan of the highs or, or the mids or anything like that i'm i'm just really a more of a low top type of dude uh so as you guys can tell i don't have any high tops or anything like that and um yeah man i'm really stoked that i was able to get this pair i'm haven't had the guts to you know on ds it yet but you know if the price keeps rising i might you know wait wait it out um these are my off-white bolts as well i got these for you know back in the i got them for resale but i paid i think maybe 500 i want to say and now they're up to 900 to 1000 bucks right now as is, is, is the market price so really a neat really nice loud shoe that stands out i do want to wear those because i am a fan of the colorway but another one that it keeps rising um so these are the black version uh, off whites so this is another pair really nice pair um pretty much identical to the momos except with laces and the swoosh but you know i, I am a big air force one guy and i do not mind um having similar type of pairs if you guys can see that other pair even back there it's kind of like the same over there so that one is all black as well and i'll get into it in a bit but it's all black with the white swoosh kind of similar to this it's like are you gonna pay you know seven hundred dollars eight hundred dollars for these or you can just pay you know 80 to 90 bucks on those so it really depends on you um sometimes a hype is not worth it but i got these for a good price uh like uh, maybe last year and now the price has gone up whereas with those the price has not gone up <laughs> uh so now this pair right here is my uh most recent released of the snakeskin version ones and a really clean color has that black swoosh with that you know snakeskin pattern and it does feel pretty uh it does have a nice feeling to it you know it's not like a leather that just has that that uh that look of the snakeskin it, it kind of does feel like an actual snakeskin type of uh texture really clean pair guys i got these for retail uh, I believe maybe they have gone up in price because I think they finally did sell out after a while. And this is just a plain all white pair with the black swoosh. Pretty simple. A lot of these, this pair and this pair that I'm about to show and this black pair have, are the 07 versions from what I know. They have that 07 on the box. So I know Nike has... I believe recently within i believe this year has made a different version of the air force one um i'm not quite sure what the exact differences are but some of these pairs do have like a more thicker midsole and i've seen newer versions that have more of a thinner midsole so i'm not quite sure if that's the only difference or if that's even a different shoe i'm not quite sure on that but i do like these older version pairs the 07 type and stuff like that so that's just the all white i mean this is the pair that I showed you guys, that, I mean, that I was telling you guys, guys, that most people have. It just goes with everything. Whatever fit you throw on, it's going to match with these, man. Really beautiful shoe. Only thing I don't like about these is after, you know, three, four wears, they start to kind of have like a yellowy, tannish look to them. Like if oxidation got to the leather and they just start turning a little bit of yellowish. And this is just the normal, all black, kind of reversed colorway than that other pair that i showed you all black with the white uh swoosh i've seen a different version that just recently released that it looks a little bit more slimmer not much of a thicker midsole and it has a white back tab back here so really clean i believe i saw those um worn by like ice cube in the friday movie so i really big fan of those because of that as well and then this one is the the quotations undefeated colorway which is not the undefeated actual name of it but you know it has that undefeated vibe because of the colorway it has the all green upper the black swoosh the black midsole and then the yellow i mean that orange tab with the orange nike air in the middle or the inside and then the nike air on the back really clean as well got these for retail too and then these are my what the air force ones i was able to score on sneakers app with these really clean 
The details, the color, the materials used on these, really, really nice. Boom, look at that midsole. That leather swoosh in the mint inside. Really clean. And the other pair, the other shoe, the right shoe is a different colorway. Really nice. Look at that little basketball type of a deal in there. Texture. Boom. Really clean shoe, guys. I was so lucky enough to get these for retail. I drove maybe about 40 minutes for them, but it was okay. Really happy. I believe the resale value for those is up to like 400 right now, maybe 500, 450 or so. And then my last pair, guys, is just the MCA Off White Air Force Ones. Really clean pair as well. Really loud color. And uh, I believe these have been kind of settling down at around, you know, 16, 17, 1800 bucks for those. So. That's, that's pretty much it as far as my little uh, Air Force One collection, guys. It's not that big. It's um, pretty small, but it's as you guys can tell, it's some, some crazy hyped shoes on here. So it's not on purpose. Uh, a lot of these I just kind of bought randomly. They I didn't buy them all within a short period of time. Um, I bought them all different, you know, maybe one pair, you know, every, you know, six months. Maybe another year I was able to get lucky on the MCAs, another year on those bolts so i didn't buy them you know really close to each other but really clean i believe it's a really clean a little collection like i mentioned i do have one more pair of the nike by you or nike id air force ones that should be coming in soon um and i'll show you those when i get them and then uh that's pretty much it guys other than that like i said a lot of the, i became a big air force one guy uh in my you know the early 2000s and uh you know they're just a really clean shoe the only thing i don't like is that once you wear them quite a few times they do have um creasing that builds up over time especially like if we wear these they have that creasing that builds up over time at the toe box which is it's normal but i just wish it would it wouldn't you know be so uh, easily creasable but it's understandable uh, other than that guys, I don't have much uh, uh, anything else uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys understand that if you grew up in the 2000s you were in high school at the time These were the shoes to wear um, You were listening to maybe like soldier boy and Nelly uh, You know 50 cent the game fat Joe Eminem um, All these rappers that have have a pair of quite a bit of pair of these I know fat Joe was a major major guy that had a lot of different colorways on these so um i know there are kobe uh versions of these and uh man they are so rare um they have pretty much you know it's like a it's like a air force one and it has the kobe logo right here and uh i've seen a couple bears flowing around ig man but those are so expensive right now and they're so rare um hopefully you know if i do come across a pair that is reasonable in price i might make a, a bite on it but other than that i mean at that at this point i'm not quite sure um if i'll ever come across any of those i don't think i don't think a lot of collectors are letting go of those kobe's but uh it is nice to see that kobe did have an air force one line um out there um other than that guys i appreciate you guys watching my videos supporting um and you know hopefully i can give you guys more content in the future um to keep you guys a little bit entertained during this whole thing going on in the world and uh, other than that guys thank you guys for watching be safe out there and uh peace